Good morning and welcome to Todmorden in West Yorkshire. We are going on a hiking adventure today. I'm pretty excited about it. The weather I think is okay, although there are some quite low clouds. The plan for the day is to first of all hike up to the tallest beach. Just, I don't think that's how I want to say it, the tallest beach. I don't think that makes sense. The beach that's at the highest point in all of the UK. And then from there, walk over to um, Studley Pike. And then after that, we'll walk back down and head into Todman and have a little wander around that. It's like a little market tap village town. So I'm looking forward to this. Where I've parked up, you could like park in Todmorden and walk up but I think this little lay-by that I've parked is really quite good there's definitely there's an entrance just over there that leads you up to Gaddings Dam where the highest beach is and so I'm pretty pleased with this one as I arrived someone was just leaving there's probably space for four four or five uh cars there is a pub, the Shepherd's Rest, just across the road there. So you could maybe, if it was a bit later on, like it's nine o'clock now, but if it's a bit later on, maybe you could go and have some lunch there, use their car park and then walk up. And I wouldn't just use their car park if you're not going to use their pub. That's rude, that's cheeky. Well, let's go and see the tallest, I don't know how to say this at all, the tallest, the highest point beach. I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna go with. The highest point beach in the UK. Let's go see it. This is quite information here on this sign about parking. It does say, don't park in the Shepherd's Rest car park, the pub. It does say if there's no parking spaces, drive down to Topperden, park there again, the hourly T6 or the T8 bus back up to Shepherd's Rest. And I've actually just seen that bus go past, so that's a good option. So we're following the path that I, I can't really see where it is, if I'm honest. It looks quite steep. And I assume the dam is just sort of hidden out of sight up there. And if I cast over, you will see Studley Pike in the distance there, that monument. That's the aim to go over there, but to be honest, now I'm here. It looks quite far. We'll have to see how it goes. Little sign here at the start of the path saying it's pretty steep and it's pretty eroded as well. I am going to continue going up. There's an alternative route on there that I could go, but I am going to continue. I'm just going to see how it is. I guess here is where you can see really maybe why they're recommending you go a different route. It is quite eroded, or well, very eroded, in parts. So maybe I should backtrack on what I previously said about parking there. Or maybe you can park there, follow the advice it said on that sign. Like circle back and go round and go a different route. I'm going to continue on this one, but do as I say, not as I do, I guess. Every time I'm at the top, I get to where the top is, or I think the top is, and there's a little bit more. That's okay. Wow. I'm gonna sit on this rock and have a little rest for five minutes and a bit of a drink. too much of a wimp but I'm telling you now if I'd have known there was all these cars up here I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have come because I don't know why but oh no there's one really close to the path cars just scare me man I don't know what it is they just scare me I'm just gonna like I think just because they're so bloody huge Here it is. Oh, it's 
well cute. The highest beach in all of UK. Look at this little wall thing over here. I have seen people, like you can go in it, I think. Sand. Yeah. After my little pathetic foot dangling, check out this man. Wetsuit, he is going in. The clouds are starting to look a little bit nasty to be honest. Which is not good. So I'm just having a look. And from here. Woo, look. Hang on. Here we are. Caddings Dam Studley Pike It's a 51 minute walk So I feel like we should do it Like we would have to Where we parked Like we're parked Here at This dropped pin We could then Walk back here Leaving the beach Oh there goes that man who's getting in So I reckon that walk up to the beach where I parked probably took me about 30 minutes or so and with a bit of a break as well so I've got 30 minutes so far the map is saying that this is a 51 minute walk to Studley Pike and then we've got to get down so we'll see how long it takes we'll go down I don't know whether this route is going to take us like massively down and then mass We'll just keep walking. I just absolutely love this so much. Just getting out in nature. I can't see. I like, just listen. There's nothing. You can't see anyone. I can hardly see any buildings. Oh, and it's just so peaceful. It's wonderful. I love it so much. We'll see if I'm saying that when I can't figure out my way to Studley Pike <laughs> and I've been wandering the hills for four hours now hopefully that won't happen hopefully it is kind of a pretty straightforward route over there I think there's these yellow markers that I am assuming is the footpath to Studley Pike that I'm kind of going to follow And then hopefully we'll just end up getting nearer and nearer and nearer until we're here. This is it. You can also, there's a spiral staircase if we walk around, there's a spiral staircase that you can walk up to a platform. down these stairs oh my goodness I've put my torch on my phone because it is pitch black if I turn my phone off pitch black hey you sparky they're shouting you up there they are they're shouting for you up there, go on. Can you make it? There you go, keep going. Right, 
so it looks like the view back kind of down here along the road I think is the best way 43 minutes hello <laughs> I've got a little friend this way honestly I wouldn't be convinced I could get down this way other than the fact that I've just seen people walking up this way it's pretty sketchy it's pretty steep and it's pretty like loose underfoot but we'll see I guess Studley Pike in the background oh, that was a really enjoyable hike what time is it now almost 12 so we sort of set off half nine so that's been a good two and a half hours I've just arrived on the main road so the main road is obviously a tiny little thing look at this how cute we're in manking holes and they've made like two little sheep out of stones and stuff nice so now it's about 20 minute walk on this road these are some other options for parking as you can see like people have parked there and it is just a big kind of like loop around and down again so if that car parks well I guess you could park on the road here maybe you're a little bit in the way but I feel like it's passable it's not too too much of a, an issue we're so close I think I'm hoping it's this corner I feel like that's the way we went up before. I definitely, as you can probably tell by my breath, misjudged this walk along the um, road, I thought. I don't know why I thought, stupid me. I thought it was kind of just gonna be flat. It's not flat around here. I thought it was gonna be flat, but it's been quite up and down. Stutley, that is, you can see it in the distance. Stutley Pike behind me. You can just about see it. No, I was wrong. This isn't the corner. Well, well, if it is, someone's stolen my van. That looks familiar though. It looks like that's the way we walked up. I guess it's all just kind of hills <laughs> at the end of the day. They all kind of look the same. Maybe it is. Maybe my van's there. Hang on. I'm going to show you this sign. If you are visiting Garings Dam, no littering, there's no toilets, no barbecues. There's no lifeguards, or even path. Yeah, definitely would agree with that. No parking on double yellow lines. Oh yeah, look, Shepherd's Rest. I knew that hill looked familiar. It wasn't being stupid. Oh, the van's just right here. Oh, nice. God, I am bloody worn out. It is oh, 20 to one. Unfortunately, I didn't start my Strava. I was gonna give you like a total time and like distance, like and height, elevation and all that, but I didn't start my Strava. Never mind, but it has been an hour, 20 minutes or so. Not an hour, three hours and 20 minutes or so since we set off, so I'm gonna relax in the van and eat some food. Here she is. All right, I have relaxed for a little while in the van. I just needed to take my walking boots off. I put my sliders on to give my feet a bit of a, yeah, break. They were, they're pretty sore from that walking for whatever reason even though I had like my good hiking boots on I don't know anyway we're gonna drive down into Todmorden now and just have a little wander around the town see what the town's like I don't think there's much there in all honesty but we're gonna have a little wander and see it is only about two miles away like well to honest, like as the crow flies it's probably about one mile but because you've got to like loop around the roads and things it's about two 2.3 2.5 miles so it'll take like five five or mi minutes or so to get there let's go so we're driving back down this is the road that i have just walked up you can see studley pike possibly in the distance up there in 200 yards turn left onto halifax road a646 I found some free parking here. It's just on, where am I? Bond Street. I can only have an hour, but that should be plenty of time to have a little wander. So this building right here 
is the town hall and that used to split between um, Manchester and York, not Manchester, Lancashire and Yorkshire. Not anymore. This here, on certain days, it's a huge market here. There's just a few little bits going on today. sign here that says Todmorden Market was the winner of the best small indoor market in Britain 2018. train station up here so I've had a little wander around honestly it's not much here <laughs> I'm honest it's a nice little Yorkshire village I you know do you know what I do love though what the um, what the buildings are made out of this stone absolutely love this stone. I just think houses look wonderful when they're built in this stone. There's a little walk along the Rochdale Canal and also lots of, um, just back here look, it's blackberry season. Back in the van, there we go, that was our little wander around Tom Morton. Um, yeah just like I say nothing much particularly here but just like a cute little Yorkshire market town I guess. Um, I'm really red, I don't know why. I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoy taking a look round um, well, Tom Morton and then obviously earlier on the hike that we did up to the tallest beach in the UK, uh, Gladding, what's it called? Gladding Dam, Gladding Dam and then over to Sudley Pike. That was really fun. I have now got a very long drive. I am off to go and crew at a van festival and uh, yeah, there'll be a video up about that soon probably. Uh, thanks for you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye. In half a mile, turn right onto Smithy Bridge Road.